Can't do it now. Time to make it work. Hi, Robert. Welcome to my world, everyone. Hi, Jackie. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It's Monday. Ah, this morning. Wow. I had that real Monday feeling. You know that real sinking feeling? And I was like, what is this? And then I remembered I had something similar on Sunday. And I had something similar on Saturday. So what is it in your world when you get that sinking Monday feeling? And it isn't Monday. It could be Saturday or it could be Friday or it could be Sunday. What is going on in your world? Well, this morning I remembered to ask a question. Who does it belong to? And then I got the download of who it does belong to. It's the Monday morning blues. But on Saturday when I had this, hi Marta. On Saturday when I had all of this, I was like, what is that? I felt so ill, I felt so sick, and I knew it wasn't mine. So when you know something isn't yours, what do you do when it shows up in your world and it doesn't go? Well, I'm going to put in, um, Anurada is going to put in for me because she's awesome that way. On my website, there's a call called, you know it's not mine, but. I know it's not mine, but. I know it's not mine, but. And the but is where we kind of think it's not ours. And then we go into the, but this, but this, but this, but this. So Anurad is going to put that in chat. You can download it. So you register for it. It's an older call. You get the video and the audio. So I remembered that and I went, right, okay, if I know it's not mine and I'm still thinking there's something wrong here that I have to change, what is right about it I'm not getting? And with that, there was like, my body did it there again. There's a sigh in my body. There's a real acknowledgement of there's something else here that I am not being clear with myself with and feeling at the effect of. Now, you guys who know me really well know that if there is something in your world, if there's something in your world that you're being affected by, that you're feeling as though you're being bombarded by, then 99.9% .9 of the time, you can flip that around and affect the world. So here I was on Saturday feeling so low, so sick, so ill, asking the question, who does it belong to? So with that, there was the first baseline of, oh, it's not mine. It still hasn't changed. What do I do? Ask another question. Okay, who does it belong to? Somebody out there, fine. More than one person, fine. Then with that, it was this big sadness. And I went, oh, I haven't felt that sad for before access, literally. Before access was when I felt that sad. Who does that belong to? And then I started getting all these bits of information. So it didn't all come together. But throughout Saturday, I, got, I received pieces of information. Facebook gave me a, a memory and it was my big dog's, would have been his 15th birthday and he died six months ago. So there was that and I went, right, okay. So I acknowledge that. I'll pull in my big dog called Brock into my world more. Even though he's not in body, he's still around. And then I'm just still sad. There's this real baseline sadness. So what date was Saturday? It was the 11th of September. 9-11. 20 years on. Boom. As soon as I got that piece of information, boom, my world went, ah, every single person in the world is clicking on of this information, being aware of it, aware of the heaviness, aware of the sadness, aware of the loss. You know, the kids that were young then are now 20 plus. The babies that were left parentless 
are now in their 20s. So all of that was coming up. There was interviews on the TV, not that I watched them, but interviews on the TV, there was things in the news. And as soon as I really, really acknowledged that information, that whole thing came out of my world. It made me be aware that I'm aware. Right, okay, I'll acknowledge that. So I still went to the, why am I feeling so sick and so ill? What is that? Is that mine? Again with the questions, is that mine? No. Who does it belong to? Boom, someone out there. Okay. Let's be present with that. Do I need to contribute to them? No. Do I need to acknowledge something? Boom. Okay, so what do I need to acknowledge? Okay, so I'll just sit with it and see what occurs. 30 minutes later, I kept asking for the information. So what is the information here that I'm not receiving? What acknowledgement can I make? Blah, 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 blah. 30 minutes later, a member of staff came in the chat. I'm so ill today. I'm just going to stay in my room. Blah, 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 blah. If you need me, give me a call. And I went, oh, download information. Thank you so much. Now I'm not affected by it, I can contribute to her. And the first thing I said was, what can I be as a contribution? Boom. So how much was I aware of what was going on and various things throughout that day in my world? But how much was I trying to make it one thing? Do you guys do that? No, you wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't try and make it about one thing. <laughs> So there was maybe five different things throughout that day that all added to that whole overwhelming sensation. And I was trying to put them all in one basket and sort it. Instead of continually asking questions and going on the journey. Oh, it's maybe that piece of information, maybe that piece of information. And every single time the information came in my world, my whole body lit up. I was lighter and that sensation changed in my world. My father wanted to die for two hours until this info. Wow. Nope, I'd never make it about one thing, says Yvonne. Simone says, never, ever, ever. What are you talking about? Ha 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 ha. So all of that information, guys, is where we function differently in the world. We don't take the energetics of something and get one answer. We are aware of a myriad of different things way, way, way before they actually occur. Or you get the acknowledgement. But if you journey with what else is here that I can acknowledge, what else is possible with this? Who else does this belong to? Then you get there eventually. Now, the whole COVID thing should give you the information that you're aware of too. Like when your government changes things, like how much are you aware of the points of view of your countries? Um, and when the regulations change worldwide, how much are we all aware of that? And if we choose not to be affected by it, what can we affect with that? So let's do this. What if you're able to change something very, very quickly by being aware of it? More aware than you think you can be. And then choose to ask a question with that. Are you willing to? Would you be willing just now to just drop your barriers and bring in the one thing that's really difficult for you in your world just now and be present with it? Allow yourself to acknowledge it. Allow your body to be present with it. Now, what can you be with this that you've never been before? What can you be with this that you've never allowed yourself to be before? And what space do you require to be to be eased with this information? 
Now, does that usually make yourself smaller? Or what if you could expand out even more than you've ever expanded before? Infinite space, people. Infinite space. And then my body just relaxes. The more I push out and be bigger than I ever thought I could be, suddenly, woof, there we go. Relaxation. Expansion. Relaxation. And it changes everything. That one simple tool changes everything. <clears throat> so I've given you a few things today. I've been giving you the free sign up for it isn't I know it's not mine, but so we've got that. And then I've given you the when we go lump and go zump everything together in one pile, and then we think it's all about one thing. When actual fact is like maybe 10, 20, even 50 different pieces of information there that you have to acknowledge to give yourself a greater space with that. Then the tools. <laughs> the tools, what space do I require to be ease with all of this? Remember line saying what you're whispering. We've got a call later on today that you guys won't know about because we've only just set it up and we're going to record it. And maybe we'll go live, I don't know. We'll see what pops. So look out for us on Facebook about, um, I forgot what time it is. What time are we doing this, babe? Um, what date is it today? It's the 13th. 6 p.m. CET. Fifty things, but what if what if fifty things can energetically speak to you, Yvonne? What if the fifty things are already communicating with you at once? What if it's a lot easier than you think it is that you don't need to put it through here? Yeah, six p.m. CET. We've got a, a recording, or maybe we'll Facebook Live. I don't know. How much fun can it be? Me and Merlin will sync otherwise known as uh, Magic Merlin. Not sure where, not sure where either. And more than two hours, enough time to prep. Far more than two hours, four hours, I think. Maybe five hours. Oh, Yvonne says, what about that I use transliteration to perceive them all at once? Totally. <laughs> she's got it so everyone thank you so much for joining me today on my monday jaunt with you guys at 1 30 uk time 2 30 cet and good morning america if there's anything else that you guys require let me know being you being present you can do Yep, Anna Rather has asked me, do you think people would want this, being you, being presence? They can. It's being you information. Um, yeah, and if anything else pops during the week, I shall jump on and say hi to you guys. But in this sort of thing, I'd love you guys to journey with it. I'd love you guys to journey with what is it you're aware of and what space can you be eased with your information and awareness and what else can you acknowledge about the magic of you <laughs> Raymond saying my OCCC said that too <laughs> cool thank you so much guys see you next Monday take care maybe later today too see you then bye now have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming on. Bye.